Hello everybody, how the hell's everybody doing by golly? And and there's why I can't be on the cotton picking up hole. Yeah, I'm almost done. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I don't thought I'm I goofed up, but hey, this is an old oh they told me who made it in some place in Italy. I can't remember the name of them just yet, but it's a strap cutter. And I'm changing the sizes. I've got a bunch of them set up for an inch and a half, but I need some three inch straps cut. And I thought, well, let's play with my toys. So I'm kind of doing everything backwards. Because it'd been so long, I couldn't remember exactly what order I had to go in and everything like that. So, uh, let me stand up and get this over here a little bit better. Uh, What I've done is move two of those kick plates that keep it from rolling back on top of the uh, leather. But any, anyway, what I did was I had to pull the blade out and shim it to where I've got just under three inches of an inch because I'm cutting some stirrup leathers. And by just under, I'm talking by like a thousandth, a couple thousandths of an inch under because of the, the Blevins buckles and how they measure and everything like that. But the previous owner had a bunch of these circular, what looks like manila um, envelopes cut up and made into shims. So I was able to get the exact, 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 exact measurement I wanted. So now I'm going to... Got my spacers put in here. I'm gonna come in here with the very, very, very extremely sharp, ooh, I'm nervous, blade. And then I'm gonna put the, the rest of the spacers on here like I found them. So now I've got three inches like I want. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is put this plastic shield up because that keeps you from getting your fingers, you know, sliced, cut, chopped off or whatever you want to call it. But I had to have it off so that I can get everything pulled over here like this. So let's safety, safety, safety. Uh, I don't know if y'all can see that label over there. It says Bogle Greenwell Machine Corporation. They used to be in Dallas. They've gone out of business, but they used to service and supply and whatnot, all these things here. But now, Campbell Randall there in Conroe, Texas is the place to go for the hookup now. Now I got a blade here that I took out. So let's remember our safety, safety, safety. Uh, I got a little pouch here I made for just this stuff right here so that it's not bouncing around in that drawer and, and if you need to push it down don't use your fingers use a rubber plastic end of a screwdriver or a wooden one if you got a wooden one so now i can put that back up in here and i don't have to worry about somebody reaching for something and cutting their dad gum fingers off or you know slicing them now here's the next thing we need to remember I put this space bar in here now. Uh, this nut is backwards. You know, normally everything's lefty loosey, righty tidy, but we got to remember, and I should write that right here or right here with an arrow or something so that if, you know, somebody else has to use this thing, uh, they'll get it right. So I'm going to spin it lefty loosey, but it's actually going to make it tighter on this one. And then, that finger tight right there. Now look how much more extra I'm gonna put to it. About that much, about an eighth of a turn maybe. Uh, because you wanna be able to get it loose later. You know what I mean? Now we got this piece here. Check the inside of that. that uh, Bushing, make sure it's good. It should slide real easy on there. 
these should finger, start. If they don't, something's wrong. Don't take an impact to it. I, working on all my race cars and stuff like that years ago, I learned that the impact wrench is good for removing nuts and bolts and whatnot, but you don't want to use it to uh, tighten them. Now, I wish I had one of my fancy ratcheting deals like that, so this would be done quicker, but I didn't go out and look for one, so too bad. Too bad, too bad, too bad. So now, I'm going to show you, uh, again, that don't need to be, uh, you don't need to torque that down a bunch. You just kind of good and tight, just a little, you know, no, uh, nothing like that to it. So now let's take my camera into uh, my other room here. Here, I'll do this for you. Hi, how the hell are you? <laughs> and I'm looking in the mirror so I can see what I'm looking at or what you are having to put up with. But anyway, um, last night, hang on a minute, I'm fixing to sneeze. <laughs> I don't know where that came from, but anyway. Last night, I cut two three and a half inch pieces of leather. Now, you're probably going, well, David, you just told us three inches. Yeah, I did, because look how crooked they are in certain spots, like right here where it was folded over. So what I did after that, after I cut them at three and a half inches, I punched holes in them, holes in them on this side and then this side here, laced them together in a, like a circle form, you know, like this, like that. Hang on. I should have brought the, the, what do you call it with me? There's how I had them laced up. And then I put them on my little stirrup leather stretcher here and stretched them out and let them dry overnight. So now what I'm going to do is, like I said, I set that at three and a half inches. And... I mean, I set the, set the cutter at three inches. I got these at three and a half. So I'm going to set it to where I cut one side, uh, cut about a quarter inch off of that, and then flip it over, because then I'll have a good straight edge there. And then I can flip it over, and then I'll have another straight edge. So let's grab these. And you get to look at me again. <laughs> I just don't need y'all seeing the mess I got in here is all I'm doing. But I got it. So let's see what happens here. I'm gonna go ahead and put them there for now. Get out. Hang on. Uh, put this back where it was, hopefully. Okay, I accidentally hit the button and it stopped recording. So hopefully, I can get these two merged together. So what I'm gonna do right here is, there's my fence, if that makes sense. Uh, basically that's just a straight edge there. And I've got it about quarter inch maybe. This side of that, um blade now i'm gonna kind of come here and hopefully find it whichever one's the cleanest and let's see if it's even plugged in or not yep it sure is okay now let's see what happens here oops i hope i didn't knock the camera down huh yeah i did huh it's not in the prime optimum spot. Come on, get up. There we go. Now, trick to this is put pressure here. 
to keep it up against this. I'm gonna double check, make sure I got that tight enough so that it doesn't, whoops. So now I'm gonna turn this, no, I'm gonna put this up here like this. And you keep your finger up against this thing right here so it doesn't go this way. That's safety number one, that's safety number two. Them come over here like this. getting hot kids Yeah, I like that. Now, to check, to test, to make sure we did good, we'll take that Blevins buckle and run it through there. The only time it really kind of sort of hung up was where we had that right there. Not because it was too wide, but because it was not flat, which once these get mounted on a fender, then they'll um, they'll be good to go. So there's that one. Now, guess what I got there? That I can make a throat latch out of. So what we're gonna do here is have all this stuff you can still do the same damn job I'm doing uh you just use your hand tools to cut it with I just got I got toys I like to play with my toys so anyway where's my little heat guard at right there yes, huh? hump right there is why it's not wanting to do anything. Ah. Yeah, I'll figure that out later. Y'all have seen enough of what we're doing. And then I'll go over there to the punching table and punch the holes and cut the tips to it and everything. Get them ready to get onto the fenders. All right, toodaloo, buggeroos, davidmillsaddlery.com. Thanks for watching. Okay, hopefully, hopefully I can merge the three different videos I'm doing here into one. And um, I can show you what I forgot to do. I forgot to tighten up this piece right here, which keeps these up. So what was happening a minute ago, it didn't happen the first time was that that little leg was in the way. Does that make sense? So now it should just zip right on through there.
a throat patch or not but i got a good solid and, and a lot of this gets cut off here in a minute um so anyway i got a good even three inch all the way across through there uh, stirrup strap to replace or put on a new saddle all right let's hope 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 i can get all three of these merged together into one video and uh Thanks for watching. Toodaloo, buggeroos. David Mills. That's me. Saddlery.com. Don't put that that's me thing in there because that was just me telling you who it is. <laughs>